Hey guys! Uh, this video is just a quick sampling of some photos of recent meals that I've had over my um, one month of doing one meal a day intermittent fasting. Everything you will see is vegan and I have counted the calories for everything. Um, if you're curious about calories or macros, or recipes for any of these things, just leave me a comment and I'd be happy to provide you with those. Uh, I hope you enjoy! Korean rice cakes cooked in a broth with sesame seeds and Korean pepper flakes. This is a sweet potato and cashew based alfredo sauce on fettuccine um, with pine nuts and spring onions. This is an epic baked potato with cheese and guac and sour cream and uh, beans and corn salsa, all the fixins. These are kimchi pancakes that I made using the vegan egg and flour mixed with kimchi, spring onions, and topped with melty cheese. This might look a little gross, but it's a vegan tuna fish substitute mixed with mayo and spices uh, on white bread with cheese and topped with um, green olives. This is one of my favorite meals, which is just an egg scramble using the vegan egg, a bunch of different veggies, vegan sausage, and oven roasted home fries. Dr. McDougall's spicy black bean and kale soup with a scoop of tofuti sour cream and a kale Caesar salad. This is a giant plate of chopped veggies with a homemade uh, mustard dipping sauce with dill and two epic hot dogs with all the toppings. Homemade mac and cheese with peas and sweet potato uh, with Parmesan cheese and a small romaine salad. These are breaded mock pork chops with artichoke pasta tossed with garlic and olive oil and a side of butternut squash. A beautiful salad from a restaurant. It's got homemade lemon hummus and all of the toppings you could ever want. I made these stuffed mushroom caps by filling them with a mixture of spinach, artichoke hearts, parmesan cheese, onions, and garlic. If you ever want a really amazing milkshake, just mix frozen bananas with peanut butter or PB2 powder and coconut milk and then top it off with some Hershey's special dark syrup. Oh hey, it's just a taco salad. All the things you ever want, the lettuce, avocado, sour cream, hot sauce, beans, rice, corn, all that stuff was delicious. Mediterranean platter with rice pilaf, olives, hummus, garlic sauce, pitas, and these mock scallops, which ended up being a little more like um, chicken strips. This was a mishmash of Indian dishes that I got at the market. Uh, one was called Cauliflower 65, as well as a korma style curry. Um, and some paratha, but they're in the background. This is the joy of leftovers. Some sticky rice, some black beans, and some leftover kale salad wrapped up in a tortilla to make a little spicy burrito. Two Beyond Meat burgers with cheese and a crap ton of pickles, because I love pickles and another kale side salad with Caesar dressing and cheese on top. Just another Mediterranean platter with pilaf, some seitan, 
tabbouleh, marinated onions, pita, garlic sauce, and hummus. A super satisfying array of homemade french fries, as well as chicken nuggets. Um, the green stuff in the bowl is mushy peas, uh, and I also have some dipping sauces for my potatoes. This doesn't look like much, but it was a giant pita filled with roasted veggies that I had just bought at the farmer's market. Uh, tomatoes and zucchini and onions and some hummus. And then on the side there is some local grown asparagus, uh, potatoes with dill and olive oil. This is my most recent cooking triumph. It is my first homemade Indian korma. It's got cashews, potatoes, uh, mixed veggies, and onions um, over some basmati rice and some cilantro on top. We're going to end with this beautiful ice cream sundae. It is Talenti brand called peanut butter fudge sorbetto. It is accidentally vegan. It is also very high in calories and fat and is so good. The whipped cream is the So Delicious brand, the light version, and there is Hershey syrup and maraschino cherries on top.